Now that we added some grains onto our skin and we like the overall texture of the skin, we can start uh, painting and building up color layers onto it. So this is what we're going for in the end. This is our aim, a final texture for this character. Uh, I was interested in having a more of a Caucasian look, but I wanted him to have a lot of freckles and a lot of the, the discoloration on his skin, especially around the shoulder area. And uh, I also wanted him to look uh, a bit more animalistic. That's why I added a lot of those... Uh, larger freckles around the shoulders because he's not human after all he's a humanoid but not human so uh, the process i like to use for texturing skin is basically adding a lot of color layers and color washes uh, with uh, masks to specify exactly where each color goes so it's much more similar to traditional painting where you layer colors on top of each other. So now when, you, when we look at images of real skin, the first thing you notice is it's not flat. If you zoom in on images of the skin, it's full of color variation. You can see a lot of shades of red and yellow, some purples, some almost white spots, and some dark brown spots. Uh, one of the things I definitely recommend looking at is some medical imaging for the skin as well so not only photographs but for example dermasco uh, dermoscopy which shows you how the skin is built and uh, you can see clearly the redness and some uh, cellular cellular look of the skin also check out RBX imaging, which is made to show the discoloration in the skin as well as the influence of the blood vessels, uh, small capillaries, and where the redness on the skin appears, as well as where the discoloration from the UV lighting appears. This way you, you get basically a very clear and easy guideline to paint at least your uh, red and brown layers onto the skin.